Hi guys, so this is Miss Clark Does Science and today we're going to be revising the first unit of biology as part of the WJC science specification which is called cells and the movement across cell membranes. The first part of this unit then focuses around the structure of animal and plant cells and their functions which is what we're going to go through today. So this over here on the left is an animal cell, it says it here, and on the right we have a plant cell. Specifically this is called a palisade cell, which just means it's a leaf cell, but in terms of this specification, this is going to be a plant cell to you. So the first thing that they have in common is they both have this kind of outer rim in both cells going around, and we call this the cell membrane. Now the cell membrane controls what goes in and out of both cells. So Anything that goes out is going to have to go through that, and anything that goes in is going to have to go through the cell membrane. The next thing they both have is this jelly-like substance where everything lives on the inside. We call this the cytoplasm, and the cytoplasm is basically just the site of most chemical reactions. So there's this big space in the middle where most of the chemical reactions take place. The third bit that they both have in common is this big black blob. This is called the nucleus and it contains all of the chromosomes. And the chromosomes are basically just the genetic information. And this is what controls the cell. You might also know it as DNA. So it controls everything that the, cell, that the cell does. It used to be referred to as the brain of the cell. I guess that makes sense, but it's better if you know that it contains DNA or contains the chromosomes. The last bit that they both contain is are these small little blobs with squiggly lines in them and these are representing the mitochondria. The mitochondria are the site of aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration means that you get energy at the other side of it which means it provides energy for everything going on inside of these cells. Okay, so moving on to things that are only found in plant cells then. One of the first things are these green blobs. We call these chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are the site of photosynthesis. And later on in biology, you go over photosynthesis in detail. But this is where that happens, in this green bit. And that actually, the bit that makes it green is something called chlorophyll. But again, we'll come back to that. This big space in the middle then, it's not actually space. It's called a vacuole. It contains cell sap. So sap is just like a gooey substance and its purpose is to basically make sure this structure of this cell stays firm. So this sap then pushes outwards on the cell which means it keeps a rigid structure and keeps it firm. The last thing then is the outer layer which the animal cell doesn't have. We just have one layer that controls what goes in and out. This one we also have an extra layer called the cell wall. And the cell wall basically contains cellulose and it's just there for structure. Okay, it contains cellulose. It is purely there as a kind of barrier to stop it leaking out everywhere because we've got this sap now pushing out on the outside so we need something to stop it and keep it in place. Okay, so there are the differences between animal and plant cells. Coming up we're going to be talking about microscopes and how we can actually see these in action.